Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a full coverage makeup routine for acne prone skin. Gonna get straight into the video. I am using the Benefit Professional Primer to prime my skin and make sure your skin is very well hydrated before you start a, start for any makeup routine. After that, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer to conceal any brown spots on my face and then I'm gonna blend it right into my skin. Using a beauty blender, I'm gonna blend that concealer or corrector into my skin seamlessly and this will help correct any kind of brown spots and the under eye circles and make your makeup look more flawless. Then I'm gonna be using my most favorite foundation of all time it's the estee lauder foundation it is really really good it's called the double wear and my shade in this foundation is 2w2 rattan and i've been using this foundation for years on end and i haven't found anything that beats this foundation now i'm just going to be using a beauty blender to blend this foundation into my skin very nicely i'm going to be using two layers for this foundation today um, taking my skin into consideration right now. Now taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to highlight my under eye circles and all the high points on my face. I really like doing this because it truly does brighten up your face and the end result looks really really seamless. You have got to make sure that you blend this concealer really really well into your skin for it to look really really airbrushed and the beauty blender in my opinion works really well with this concealer and just blend away for contouring i'm using the la girl pro concealer I have done a video for how I contour and highlight my face and I'll link that video in the description box below so feel free to check it out. And now I'm taking the beauty blender to even out everything and making sure everything just falls into place and looks quite seamless. Using the RCMA No Color Powder, I'm going to put that all over the areas that I have concealed using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this will really smooth out the under eye area and the areas that I have highlighted. I'm tapping off the excess powder from my eyelids because I have used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer as my eyeshadow base for today. For my eye makeup today, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This is one of the best palettes that I have used from ABH so far. And I'm taking the color Burnt Orange to put it as a transition shade on my eyelid.
Now taking a smaller brush and using the color Real Guard from the Modern Renaissance palette, I'm just deepening up my crease area just a tad bit more. This gives a really nice gradient ombre effect in your eye look and just blend it away for both your eyes. Now using the leftover Shape Tape Concealer from my hand, I'm just using it to slightly cut my crease. The look that I'm going for doesn't require for me to sharply cut my crease because it's not a cut crease look. So yeah, just keep it very, very soft. And then I'm taking the color Venetian Red from the ABH palette and using it just a little below the area where I have used the color Realgar and this will again help create a really nice gradient effect. I'm taking MAC Fix Plus on a flat brush and taking the color Love Letter and using it just on top of the area where we had created a soft cut crease and make sure that you fill that area in very nicely. Don't worry about any mess ups because we're going to clean everything up with blending. Okay, now we're going to be using the color red ochre and using that color we're going to fill in our corners of the eyelids and this will be looking really really nice. Just hang on tight and keep blending. I decided to deepen up my edge of the eyelid area just a little bit more and I'm using the color Cypress Umber to do that and this is just for that nice gradient or ombre effect that I'm going for. As I mentioned earlier, blending is really crucial and make sure that you're blending everything into your eyelid very very seamlessly and take as much time that you want with this process. I'm taking the color Primavera and Tempera from the ABH palette and using it as my brow bone highlight for today. Now taking the Stila liquid glitter in Diamond Dust, I am using it on the middle of my eyelid area. And as you all have guessed, I am going for a nice glittery eye look today. Since this was my first tutorial of 2020, I wanted to start off with really bright, vibrant and glittery of course, because bling is life guys. Now taking the color Vermeer from the ABH palette, I'm using it as my inner corner highlight. For my eyeliner today, I'm using the Essence Waterproof Eyeliner. I do not like to use expensive or branded eyeliners because they dry out so fast. So this eyeliner is really inexpensive yet very very good. and. After that, I'm just going ahead with my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm not going to be using any other falsies today because this mascara is bomb.com and it really does plump up your lashes like no other. Now taking the colors Red Ochre and Venetian Red, I'm going to apply those two colors on my lower lash line to make everything look nice and blended. For that wide-eyed look, I am using the Essence Nude Liner as my water liner for today. And then taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, I'm gonna tap off all the excess powder from my face.
This will also effectively take care of any of the fallouts that might have been on my face while doing my eye makeup and I'm gonna be running that brush all over my face. I'm using the Tarte Clay Play palette for my bronzer today and the color that I'm using is called Terracotta. For my blush as well, I'm using the Tarte Blush Bazaar palette and the color that I'm going to be using is called Authentic. One of the annoying things of wearing a hijab and doing makeup is that hair can get really wild really annoying but have to deal with it anyway for my highlighter today i'm using the mac hyper real glow palette this is a really really great highlighter palette and i am just gonna be using a little bit of fix plus on my brush to intensify my highlighted look because i just love highlighter for my eyebrows i'm taking the anastasia beverly hills Dip brow pomade in the shade dark brown and i'm just going to be doing my eyebrows this is such a good product i have been using it for years on end and i am still obsessed with it For my lips, I have taken a really basic Revlon lip liner because I decided to go for really opaque pink lips. I am using the ColourPop liquid lipstick in the shade Bad Habit. I just love this shade. For my setting spray, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is the most amazing setting spray that I have ever used. It makes your makeup last through sweat, humidity, everything. And that is my finished look for today. I really hope you guys found this video useful and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and also comment down below what your thoughts were and do not forget to hit the bell notification button to be updated on my future content inshallah. Take care, Allah Fez and that's all from me for today. See you in the next one. Bye!